Hi, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to our course unit 4, the Developing Leadership Ability. So this is just a part 2 of our general principles of leadership. As we tackle nung last Monday, yung about sa kung ano yung mga characteristics or what are the things that should accept or ano yung mga theories about leadership. So now, uh, ang topic natin for today is all about the uh, how to develop your leadership ability or paano ka magiging tamang leader. Okay? I'm sorry that I need to record this one because I have an urgent uh, na aasikasuhin for today. Okay, let's start. So, few people are born leaders. Most of us need to, pr need to practice being a good leader. And that's why leadership development is so important. So, di ba sabi nga natin, there, there is a theory na that leaders are born, na pinanganak talaga siyang maging leader. But, Ha, hindi naman lahat eh, agad, uh, ganun ang pagkakataon, di ba? Meron tayong mga leader na nagiging leader sila because of the situation or dahil pinida sila or nakakita sila ng potential. That is why most of us, sabi niya, need to practice being a good leader. And that's why leadership development is so important. So, hindi naman ibig sabihin na leader ka ngayon, eh, magaling ka agad-agad. We need to develop our skills, our abilities, our responsibilities for us to become a good leader. So, there are many... There are many different types of leadership as we tackle naman yon na last meeting, di ba? And there are many skill sets that can help you become a successful leader. So, ano pa yung mga skill sets na yan? Eto na. Okay? Number one, we have, ayan. So, developing leadership ability, kailangan you have this number one, taking initiative. So, what is taking initiative? So, most bosses will only assign employees tasks they know they can do. So, that's why it is important to volunteer to take on more responsibilities while going above and beyond at your current position. When we say taking initiative, uh, ikaw na mismo, pipiliin mo na or sasabihin mo na, ah, ito po kasi yung kaya ko, ito yung kaya kong gawin. Taking initiative, hindi ibig sabihin na ito, nagagaling-galingan ka na, but you're just telling them na, ito po kasi yung magagawa ko. Okay, ito po yung kaya ko. So, madami kasi sa mga leaders ngayon or mga boss natin, di ba? Uh, Ia-assign nila yung particular task doon sa alam nilang may alam na. Di ba? So, if you want to be a good leader, then you need to take an initiative. Sabihin mo ano yung kaya mong gawin. Yan. Next, critical thinking. What is critical thinking? Good leaders can foresee potential problems before they happen. So, they can also develop ways to prevent problems from happening. Ang critical thinking, it comes with what we call contingency plan. Okay? Ang critical thinking, ibig sabihin daw, ang mga good leader, uh, bago pa dumating yung mga problema. Okay? Bago pa dumating yung mga problema na yan sa anumang company, sa anumang function or organization na meron sila, ang good leader, nakikita na niya yan. So, lagi siyang may critical thinking. Every solution, iniisip niya na, oh, baka may problema. Every event na gagawin niya, iisipin niya, ay, ano kayang mangyari kapag ganito na ang sitwasyon. Ayan. So, bago pa mangyari yun, kailangan talaga meron kang itinatawag na critical thinking. Kasi kung hindi masama na lagi kang positive, but you always, okay, you always also think na yung mga possible na pwedeng mangyari sa mga ganong senaryo. Hindi kasi natin may iwasan na merong negative, di ba, na mangyayari. So, hindi naman sa pagiging nega, pero nagiging handa ka lang kung ano man ang mangyayari sa event nyo, sa anumang organization nyo. Yan. Next, listening effectively. Okay, nakikinig kang mabuti. Ano yon? One of the most important skills of a leader is listening. Yan, very important yan kasi... Uh, dapat nakikinig ka, hindi lang sa'yo. Okay? Kailangan pinakikinggan mo din yung mga kasama mo. Without listening skills, you are not able to get feedback from others and get a sense of what team members like about the projects they work on. Kasi, sabi nga natin, there's a two-way communication and hindi mangyayari ang communication within the team okay? if hindi ka marunong makinig sa kanila. Ayan. So, you need to listen 
effectively. Next, you also have dapat yung ability na to motivate others. As we said, di ba, ang leader kailangan marunong siyang mag-influence sa iba. Marunong siyang mag-encourage sa iba. Nagagawin nila yung isang bagay hindi dahil sa napipilitan sila pero dahil naniniwala sila dun sa leader nila. A true leader should positively influence people when employees or co-workers lose their ambitions and passions. A true leader can energize and motivate them. Hindi yung na-down na nga yung employee mo or na-down na nga yung ka-team member mo, lalo mo pa siyang i-down, lalo mo pa siyang i- uh, tawag dito? Iwawalan ng motivation. So, kailangan ang good leader, kapag ang isang membro na nanghihina, diba, kailangan niyang i-motivate. Parang kasing sasakyan yan. Ang nagda-drive, eh, itong si uh, leader. Kapag nakita niya na ang isang gulong niya es malambot, ganyan, ang ano kailangan niya, diba, haayusin niya, ipifix niya. Kasi, para umandar yung sasakyan. So, ganun din sa ating uh, mga teams or members, diba, yung leader, kailangan minomotivate niya or ini-encourage niya yung mga tao niya na tingin niyang mahina or nagiging sagabal sa pag-function ng organization nila. Next is discipline. Eto. Discipline always. To be a good leader, you need to be self-discipline. And make sure others on your team are also disciplined. Ayan. Even if you have a vision or good idea, it is always useless without discipline. If you want to execute effectively, you need to discipline. Ayan. So, saan ba magsisimula ang disiplina? Sa'yo as a leader. Kasi kapag nakikita nila na ang trabaho mo o lousy ka din sa trabaho mo, hindi ka gumagawa, hindi ka kumikilos, ano ang gagawin ng mga members mo? Or ano ang gagawin ng mga... Uh, kasamahan mo sa trabaho or sa team mo, gagayahin ka nila. Pero kapag nakita nila may disiplina ka, madidisiplina din yan yung mga members mo, yung kasama mo sa team. So, therefore, pas magiging maganda. ba diba? Para gusto mong maging tama ang flow or kung ayos ng yung organization or yung team, you need to have this what we called a discipline. Kasi kapag walang disiplina, useless sa yan. Sabi nga niya, kahit na meron kang good idea or vision, kung lahat yan, eh, walang disiplina, therefore, hindi nyo makukuha yung goal nyo or yung function nyo. Next. Yan. Constant learning. What is constant learning? Learning doesn't stop. So, leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. By John F. Kennedy. When the things are changing rapidly, It is important to constantly learn and challenge yourself. Sabi nga natin, the only, uh, the only constant or the only permanent in this world is the word change. And kapag merong word na change, all we need to, to do is to adapt that change or to constantly learn that change. Kasi alam naman natin na laging nagbabago eh. Walang permanente sa mundo. Magbabago, mag-improve yan, diba? magde-develop yan. Ano ang kailangan mo as a leader? Hindi ka dapat kasi nag kapag leader ka kailangan flexible ka, 'di ba? Hindi pwede na kung ano nang yung alam mo, magi-stop ka na doon. Hindi pwede. Syempre dapat nagde-develop ka nga ng ability mo, 'di ba? As a leader. So you need to have this what we call constant learning. That is only permanent 'yan. Na dapat pinag-aaralan mo lahat ng pagbabago. Next, know how to delegate. Know how to delegate. So, delegate work to your employees and let them feel empowered. If you do this, they will feel more involved and have more opportunities to develop new skills. Yung know how to delegate, it means marunong kang mag-select. Ayan. Marunong kang mag-select sa mga specific functions na ipapamahagi mo sa team members mo. And then, uh, bibigyan mo sila ng parang importansya. Ayan. Kasi, di ba parang sa mga boss, uh, sa mga leader, tsaka member, ito yung part mo. Oh, you need to discuss them thoroughly. Ito yung gagawin mo. Kapag ginawa mo yan, ito yung magagawa or ito yung magiging contribution niya sa ating team. Ganyan. You need to know how to delegate properly para ma-motivate sila, para ma-feel ma nila na, ay, oo, oh, oh, kasama pala ako ng team. ba? Diba? Ay, oo, oh, oh, hindi pala ako na OP dito, hindi lang ako extra dito. Yun ang know how to delegate. Next. Next naman is handling conflicts. So, paano naman yung handling conflicts? Yan. Leaders have to know how to handle difficult people and resolve conflicts. If an employee doesn't work to the best of his or her ability and brings a negative attitude to work, leaders have to step up 
and talk to the person in private. Sa handling context, kailangan as a leader, ayan, kailangan marunong kang mag-handle ng mga conflicts or anumang riot sa teams mo. Okay? Kasi, uh, you need to resolve that uh, uh, ng maigi. Okay? Uh, hindi mo kailangan ipahaya yung employee mo. Hindi mo kailangan na uh, ipakita sa kanya na wala siyang kwenta. Pwede mo siyang kausapin ng personally if nakikita mong namumublema yung uh, itong employee mo or itong ka-member mo. Para lang malaman mo muna yung problema. Para makapag-decide ka din. Uh, kung aalisin mo na ba siya sa team mo or bibigyan mo lang siyang another motivation or encouragement to do well on his or her work. Yan, handling conflicts in case na nagkaroon ng problema. And, syempre, as a leader, you need to be a follower. Sabi nga, to be a good leader, kailangan good follower ka din. Leaders should learn to recognize the value of team members. Learn from them and encourage other team members to learn from them. So, learn things that you didn't know from a person who specializes in that area. Ayan. Uh, kanwari, dito sa... Sa online class, ayan. So, aminado naman yung mga iba nating mga faculty, di ba? Na hindi sila ganun kagaling sa technology. So, sino nga asahan nila when it comes to this online class? Siyempre, mas aasa sila sa amin na medyo bata. So, do mas matanda sila sa amin, do sila yung mga leader namin, sila yung mga boss namin. As a leader, they also try to be a follower. Nakikinig din sila sa amin. Bakit? Kasi... Doon sa area na yon kami yung magaling. Ganyan. So, kapag nag-explain kami sa kanila, ganito po, sir, ganito ang gagawin para di po kayo mahirapan, ganto ganyan. So, nakikinig din sila. Bakit? Kasi kailangan din nilang matuto eh. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang, ang isang leader, hindi naman ibig sabihin, nasa kanya na lahat, alam niya lahat ang kagalingan. For sure, may mga lacking din siya, meron din siyang kakulangan. So, para mapunan yung mga kakulangan na yun, diba? you also need to be a follower from others. Hindi naman nakakababa yun eh. You're just accepting your flaws, you're just accepting na hindi lahat alam mo. And there's nothing wrong with that. Ang masama, yung alam mo nang hindi mo na alam, tapos nag-iignorante ka pa dyan. Yan, yun ang pangit, ba? Diba? Mas okay nang tagapin mo, hindi mo alam yun. Okay? Walang masama sa pagpapakumbaba, hindi nakakababa. Hindi nakakababa ng tao yun, ba? Diba? Or hindi naman bababa yung tingin nila sa'yo as a leader nun eh. Mas ma-appreciate ka nila nun kasi aminado ka na ay gusto mong mag-learn, gusto mong matuto yung isang bagay na yun. So, sabi nga natin, if you, need to, if you want to be a good leader, you also need to be a good follower. So, those are the different... Um, Leadership abilities na kailangan mong ma-develop para maging kang good leader. Yan. So, we have elements of leadership. So, we have five key elements that define effective leadership. So, while having a successful leader, it is a crucial aspect of every organization. Truly, effective leaders are hard to find. That is true. So, there are several key elements that the majority of highly effective leaders have in common. So, ano ba yung five na to? Ayan, na five key elements na effective ang leadership niya. Number one is the ability to delegate tasks. Parang yung kanina lang, di ba? By delegating tasks to others, the workloads is shared and team spirit thrives. Yung camaraderie na tinatawag. Though there is one caveat, the right task must be assigned to the right person so that it can be completed correctly effectively and in a timely manner. Di ba, sina pinag-usapan na natin na kailangan mo din kilalanin lahat ng mga team members mo. If kilala mo lahat ng team members mo, kung ano yung kakayahan nila, ano yung kahinain nila, therefore, meron kang ability to delegate tasks. What is the importance of having this ability, yung kailangan marunong kang mag-delegate ng tasks? The importance of having this one is para maging smooth ang flow ng mesmong function nyo or ano man ang goal nyo. Bakit? Kasi kilala mo na silang lahat eh. Kung ibibigay mo lahat yung 40 nila, nahati, na, nahati yung trabaho nyo sa tamang tao, napunta lahat yung task sa tamang tao, therefore, mabilis ang trabaho nyo. Yan. So, that is ability to delegate task. Next, excellent communication. Yan. Bawal ang ignorante. Without excellent communication skills, Managers will have an extremely difficult time establishing and maintaining a productive work environment. Kasi kailangan dapat transparent ka within your communication. Kapag kasi 
Oh, sige. Kahit nga sa pag-ibig na lang, diba? Sabi nga na, communication is the key. Bakit madaming hindi nagkakatuluyan? Or bakit madami or kadalasan hindi sila nagka, uh, nagkakasundo? Kasi may mga bagay na hindi natin kinocommunicate sa partner natin. Okay? Na minsan, yun ang mag start ng hindi pagkakaintindihan nyo. O, relate na relate niya yung iba. Diba? Uh, hindi nagsasabi, ma'am. Hindi nag-update. Ganyan. So, kailangan kung gusto mong maging uh, work or mag-work yung partnership nyo or relationship nyo sa isang tao, kailangan, di ba, clear or transparent ang communication. Parang walang tinatago. Yan. Ganun din sa mga leaders. Oh. Nilagay ko lang sa pag-ibig para lang makal-relate kayo. Ganun din sa mga team members. Kailangan yung leader natin meron siyang excellent communication. Sabi nga natin, ang communication, pwede siyang verbal, pwede ring non-verbal. Ang importante lang dito is kailangan nare-receive nila yung tamang information na gusto mong or tamang message na gusto mong ipaalam sa kanila. Yan. Para ma nawawala or nababawasan na rin yung conflict. Kasi kung kunwari merong kantas para sa kanila, tapos hindi mo yan nabigay ng clear uh, or hindi mo napaliwanag sa kanila ng mabuti, anong mangyari? Mas malaki yung chance na mali yung gagawin ng member mo. Okay? So, uh, One effective leadership is meron siyang excellent communication. Number three, confidence. Ayan, dapat hindi ka nagdududa. Okay, kailangan confident ka. If an enterprise leader continues to display confidence despite of the difficulties, employees will continue to feel comfortable and secure. And the work atmosphere will remain calm and motivated. Ayan. Kung kunwari, may project kayo. Tapos, ikaw na leader, eh, kinakabahan ka sa mismong uh, project nyo na yan or goal nyo na yan. Ano ang mangyari? Siyempre, kung ikaw hindi ka kalmante, ayan, kinakabahan, uh, wala kang tiwala sa trabaho nyo, hindi ka nagtitiwala din sa trabaho ng mga team members po, what will happen? The more na magsishake and up yung team nyo. Bakit? Kasi kung ikaw na leader na nagda-drive, di ba? Uh, sa nware, suck yan. Ikaw na nagda-drive, nag-aalilangan ka. What more pa kaya yung mga follower mo? So, kailangan confident ka. Or there is confidence within yourself. Di ba? Kung merong mang pagdududa, sa, sa, parang sarilinin mo na lang or parang huwag mo masyadong i, uh, ibig deal. Kailangan positive ka. Hindi, kaya natin to. Na kahit nahihirapan ka, lagi mo inisip na kaya natin to. Kung magtutulungan tayo, kaya natin to. Magsusurvive tayo. So, that is effective leadership. Next. Ito. Honesty. Kailangan tapat ka. So, if staff feel that their leader is dishonest, ba? Diba? Or hindi makatotohanan, sinungaling. Without due explanation, an environment of distrust is fostered. This can lead to high employee turnover and further problems and expense for the organization. ba diba kapag nakita niyo yung leader na, um, parang di naman totoo yung leader na, may daming kwento na hindi kababalaghan, ganyan. Ikaw mismo, hindi ka na naniniwala dun sa mga ine-explain nila. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, mawawalan ng trust. Diba? Number one yun eh, mawawalan ng trust yung mga members mo. So, therefore, hindi na rin sila magpa-function. Mas gugusto nila na, ay, sige, mag na lang ako. Ay, sige, alis na lang po ako sa team na to kasi parang gawa-gawa lang ng kwento eh. ba? Diba? Parang di na makatotohanan itong boss namin eh, itong leader namin. So, honesty. Next, creativity. Ayan. The last one, uh, a key element for effective leadership is kailangan may creativity siya. So, though we all strive to hit targets, sometimes things do not go as planned. Ayan. Unexpected events occur that require adjustment to be made to previous decisions that were made or current plans of actions. At these times, leaders must be able to step up to the plate quickly and think creatively to come up with stable solutions as tough Turn to them for support and guidance. Kailangan creative ka. Ang creativity, uh, dito kasi magsisimula yung uh, palaisipan mo na ano kayang gagawin mo para mahit yung target na yan. ba? Diba? Mayroong kang plinano, pero sometimes dahil may naisip ka na mas magandang plano, yun ang gagawin nyo. Ayan. So, kailangan sa creativity kasi flexible upon the situation. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng creativity when it comes to leadership. Kailangan malikhain ka. Kailangan matalas ang isip mo na madami kang naiisip na ideas para mag-come up kayo doon sa goal nyo or function nyo. Yan. Kailangan quick, sabi nila. 
Next. Okay. So those are the uh, development of leadership ability and the five key elements. Ito naman. Uh, the next topic is the characteristics of a leader. The 21 qualities of remarkable leadership. So, kayo, tingnan nyo kung may kakilala kayong leader, tingnan nyo kung meron siyang gantong quality or kayo as a student, kung leader, nagiging leader man kayo, ano yung mga remarkable leadership. So, we have 21 qualities of remarkable leadership. Number one, courageous. Yan. What is courageous? Courage does not mean that you never feel afraid. It means acting in the face of fear. Pag sinabing courageous, hindi naman ibig sabihin ng courageous yung matapang na matapang eh. Sinabi natin courageous, matapang kang harapin yung kinakatakutan mo. Okay? Pag sinabi kasi courageous, ibig sabi, hindi naman ibig sabihin nun wala kang kinakatakutan. Ang sinasabi lang ng courageous, may tapang ka na harapin yung mga kinakatakutan mo. Yan. Leaders face fears Every day. That's true. Okay. Fear of conflict. Siyempre, lahat ng leader ayaw na rin yung conflict. Gusto nila smooth ang flow. Ayan. Uh, fear of conflict. Telling people things they don't want to hear. Ayan. Minsan, iniisip mo kasi, di ba, as a leader, baka pag sinabi ko to, ma-hurt itong mga kasama ko. Ganyan. Fear of vulnerability. O, oh, anong ibig sabihin ng vulner vulnerability? Taking ownership of mistake. Feel vulnerability, ibig sabihin parang mahina. Yan. So, taking ownership of mistakes. Ganyan. Fear of scarcity. People fear not having enough and have trouble cultivating healthier abundance mindset. Siyempre, as a leader, ayaw mo din na nagkukulangan ka sa tao, nagkukulangan ka sa products mo, nagkukulangan ka sa anumang kailangan ng team mo. Yan yung mga kinakatakutan nila eh. Fear of failure, number one to. Ito yung pinakatatakutan ng isang leader. ba? Fear of failure na baka mag-fail yung goal nila. Making a decision when you can't be sure of the outcome. Takot ka din. So, there's a reason courage is at the top of this list. So, it's the foundation of many other leadership attributes. For example, you can be good communicator if you avoid conflict like the plot. Yan. So, again, kapag ang isang leader, one good quality of a leader is kailangan courageous siya. Ibig sabihin, he can face all these fears, all these type of fears. Ibi, hindi naman ibig sabihin nun, wala siyang kinakatakutan eh. Pero ready lang siyang i-face lahat ng kinat, kinakatakutan niya. Ibig sabihin, meron din siyang confidence sa sarili niya na matatapos niyan. Next, another quality is ethical. What is ethical? Yan. Ethical leadership is more than avoiding corporate crime or avoiding getting caught. It's also treating people fairly and creating an environment that encourages team members to do the right thing. But how can you do that when ethics vary between individuals? Ito na. As a leader, it is your job to establish organizational values and model them. For example, a code of ethics establishes the priority of values like inclusivity and respect. Sometimes, doing the right thing for one person means offending another. Competing values create ethical dilemmas. You have to make the call. Ayan. Meron kasi tayong tinatawag na ethical standards. Kaya nga meron kayong subject na ano, professional, di ba? In ethical standards, ganyan. Values. Kasi may mga sinusundan din tayong mga rules within the teams. So, sometimes, sabi nga nila, sa ethics na to, uh, pwede kapag kinorek mo tong isa, e eh, magiging offensive siya dun sa ibang parts or sa mga ibang team. But, the best approach, sabi niya, is to genuinely care about everyone's best interest. Hindi ibig sabihin na sinuway mo, pinagalitan mo, or parang nagrepreman ka dun sa isang tao, e eh, ayaw mo na dun sa kanya. Pinapahiya mo na siya. Sometimes, ang best, sabi niya, the best way to punish or to reprimand those type of mga conflicts, ganyan, kailangan ilagi mong sinasabi sa team mo na ginagawa ko to para sa lahat. Yan, for the best interest of everyone. When you can't give everyone what they want, you can make sure everyone feels respected and understood. That is ethical. Yan. Kasi may mga decisions, aminin natin, may, wala kasing leader na perfect, di ba? There's, there's no such thing like a perfect leader. Now, sometimes, um, Ipipil, na feeling nyo na ay bias naman siya sa pag-decision niya. Okay? Kailangan sa pagiging leader mo, 
ethical ka. Yan. Sumusunod ka kung anong rules nyo. Walang kapit-kapit system dyan. Pinapakinggan mo both sides. That is ethical. Next, resilient. What is resilient? Yan. Leading when your seas are smooth is easy. A true test of leaderships comes in times of crisis. Yan. Ang resilient, ito yung kaya mong harapin ano man ang pagsubok na ibigay nila sa iyo. Resilience is a leadership quality that enables you to bounce back when things fall apart. Ito yung kaya mong tumayo kahit na wasak na wasak ka na. That is a resilience, 'di ba? If your response to a crisis as well falling apart, your employees will to. Yan. Kapag nakita kasi ng mga uh, employees mo or ng members mo na sa crisis nyo or doon sa pag-fall nyo, eh pati ikaw na fall ka, nakita nilang nanghihina ka na din, syempre, manghihina din yung members mo. So, they may even start updating their resumes. Yan na. Diba? It's important to stand strong during trouble times. Dapat kailangan matatag ka, hindi ka marup marupok. Yan. Showing professionalism and confidence helps your team stand strong with you. That's not that's not to say expressing emotions is weak. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na umiyak ka, ganyan, nalungkot ka sa results, eh, mahina ka na. It is okay to express those types of emotions. But, sabi niya, kailangan kahit nasa kagitna ng kalungkutan, positive pa din ang mind mo na okay lang yan, pinagdadaanan talaga. Yan, yan. In fact, it makes you more human and a better leader. So, but you must always focus on recovering from setbacks, not swallowing in despair. So, wag, ka, wag mo lagi inaano yung, wag mo na lang laging iniisip yung pagkabigo ng company nyo, yung pagkabigo ng team nyo or goal nyo. Kailangan, kahit na dumaan kayo sa anumang bagyo, sabi nga sa anumang conflict, kaya nyo maging, kaya nyo mag-stand up. Kanya na, it's okay. Ganun talaga, mararanasan natin yan, iiyak tayo, madadapa tayo. Pero, ang importante is, babangon ka. Ayan. So, in times of crisis, dito talaga makikita yung pagiging resilient ng isang leader. Next. Number four, humble. Ayan. Ano yung mga humble na yan? Yung di po mayabang ma. What is humble? Ayan. Arrogant leaders make excuses. Blame others or even lie to save face. Naku, madami kaming kilalang ganyan. This behavior not only erodes trust, but it kills creativity. Madaming ganyang leaders, yung madaming dahilan. Si, imbis na sila yung aako ng kasalanan, isisisi sa iba. Yan. Tapos, magsisinungaling. Madaming ganyan, madaming leader na ganyan. So, this behavior not only erodes trust, but it kills creativity. That is true. So, humbly admitting. Ikaw mismo. Kasi sabi ko, wala kang perfect eh. Diba? Humbly admitting when you are wrong shows strength in leadership. Masahangaan ka nga ng kamembro mo kung ikaw mismo as a leader ina-admit mo na may pagkakamali ka. In fact, it's what makes great leader. Owning your mistakes models for employees how to act when they screw up. ba? Diba? Parang kung si boss ka nagkakamali, ako pa ba as employee? So, magiging honest din sila sa'yo. The power of believing that you can improve is what, for a leader, transforms from a failure into a powerful force of change. You can also practice humility by appreciating that you don't shoulder all of the work for your company. Isa pang another example ng humble is hindi lang siya yung pagiging pag-accept ng flaws mo or pag-accept ng failures mo. Another way of expressing this humility is ina-accept mo nga din, na-appreciate mo na hindi lahat, kung nag-successful yung team nyo, nag-successful itong company nyo, organization nyo, hindi dahil ikaw yung leader, pero dahil nag-work kayo as a group, as a team. Ayan. You are the leader that guides your crew to be their best selves. If you want to display exceptional leadership, pay attention to your team's talent. Ayan. Share the success of your company achieves with others who have contributed and encourage collaboration and growth. Ayan, dito sa Pampanga na, ano namin yan, na-exercise namin yan with Doc Chan. Every time na nagtatagumpay kami sa mga goals namin, so si Doc Chan sinasabi niya, kasi magaling tayo. Ganyan. Hindi naman niya inaako lahat. Uh, Doc Chan talaga is a good leader. So, your business moves forward as you include your team in important decision and remain grateful for their input. Yan. Hindi yung, kasi may mga ibang leader na iaakuin lang nila ako lang kasi gumawa dyan, mami. 
ako talaga yung nag-drive dyan. Wala namang ginawa yung members ko. Yeah. Kailangan kung good leader ka or maganda talaga yung uh, relationship mo with your members. Uh, kapag naging successful kayo, kailangan ang nagka-count dyan, hindi lang ikaw as a leader. Kailangan babanggitin mo din dyan yung mga kasama mong gumawa doon. Parang sa mga thesis yan eh. Uh, mararanasan nyo magkakaroon kayo ng grouping sa mga thesis. Well, kapag nanalo yung thesis nyo or kapag naging successful ang thesis nyo, kailangan... Uh, supportahan mo or sabihin mo din na hindi lang po ako as a leader kasi ang, nag, ang nagtrabaho dyan. Ang nagtrabaho din dyan, kasama ko ang members ko. Kung totoo naman. That is being humble. That is a true uh, quality of a leader. Hindi yung porket siya yung leader siya na lang lahat ang gumawa. Hindi. That is being humble. Yan. Next is coachable. What is coachable? So, as a coach, I may be biased, but there's a good reason the top business leaders use executive coaches. Great leaders have to know how to coach and how to be coach. Yeah. Great leader, kailangan marunong siyang mag-coach. Also, kailangan marunong din siya paano magpa-coach. Yeah. Coachability is self-awareness combined with the desire to improve. Ito yung kasing uh, parang meron kang desire or motive, uh, kagustuhan na Matuto. Ayan. Or para mag-improve pa. Ma-develop. There are few specific ways you can work on being more coachable. Ano yung mga tatlong to? Number one, self-evaluate. Self-evaluation. Take a stock of your strength and weaknesses as a leader. O, ito yung mga strengths ko. Ito yung weaknesses mo. Tingnan mo muna. I-assess mo muna yung sarili mo. Next one is seek feedback. Ayan. Ask your team how you're doing and what you can do better. Tanungin mo din sila. Kaya nga nagkakaroon ng evaluation, di ba? You ask them, uh, good ba akong as a leader? Sa tingin nyo, anong kulang sa akin? Pinapahirapan ko ba kayo? Nahihirapan ba kayo sa strategy ko? Ask for your feedback. Para kasi, hindi naman sa masasaktan ka eh. Mayroong part na masasaktan ka sa sabihin ng mga employees mo or ka-team mo. Pero, it is for you to accept that and improve kung sa tingin mong mali talaga. Next is, after mong malawan yon yung mismong feedback nila from you, at saka nag-evaluate ka na din, take action. Yan. Sa mga nalaman mo, you need to work to improve your weaknesses areas and try new approaches. Siyempre, pag nalaman mo yung mga negative na sinasabi nila sa'yo or sa tingin nilang kailangan mong improve, i-accept mo yon Huwag kang magagalit sa kanila. I-accept mo yon para mag-improve ka or mag-develop pa yung skills mo. So, a solid team works best with a leader who is open to changing their attitude and behavior. Yan, sabi na, open-minded ka ba? If a leader isn't coachable and lets their ego dominate the conversation, team members won't be inspired to give their best. Kapag ang leader nyo sarado ang isipan, siya lang ang iniisip niyang magaling, hindi siya tumatanggap ng kanyang pagkakamali, ayaw niyang magbago, therefore that is not a good leader. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya coachable. Yan, kailangan coachable ka. Sabi nga natin, coachability is a self-awareness combined with the desire to improve. Next, patient. Yan, patient. Waiting too long to act can cause your business to stagnate. Waiting for a right moment is something else entirely. Waiting too long, sabi nga niya, kapag matagal ka naghihintay, parang nagiging stagnant na yung company nyo. Yan. Pero waiting for the right moment, it means something else entirely. Tang ang kailangan mo lang is the perfect timing. Yeah. This is a kind of patience you need as a leadership skill. So, patience comes from your ability to endure short-term challenges for great long-term gains. Yung hahabaan ng pasensya. Yeah. Leadership requires that you calmly evaluate problems and locate the source of dysfunction. Hindi yung konting problema lang, mainit na yung ulo mo. Pinag-aalis mo na. Yeah. Pinag-aalis mo na yung mga trabahador mo. Of course, even the most level-headed leaders feel angry and impatient sometimes. Meron talagang ganong times kasi hindi naman may iwasan yan. But they take the time to calm down before they act. Kasi kapag, kanwari, nawalan ka ng pusensya, okay, galit na galit ka, and you decide na agad-agad, baka makapag-decide ka ng mali para sa kumpanya nyo, para sa team members mo. 
Yan. So, you need to become first before deciding or acting upon that conflict. So, lose, losing patience leads to poor thinking and rash decisions. That is very true, di ba? Hindi, kahit na alam kapag nag-aaway kayo ng jowa mo eh, di ba? Kapag nawalan ka ng pasensya sa kanya at mainit ang ulo mo, agad-agad, wala na, ba-black mo na siya, unfriend mo na, ganyan, without even thinking na, Tama ba na i-block ko na siya agad-agad? Tama ba na ganto ko na siya agad-agad? ba? Diba? Rush decisions yon. Hindi mo agad pinag-isipan kasi lang napapada- nadadaan ka ng mga emotions mo. So, ganun din as a leader. So, without patience, you might scrap projects prematurely. Tama yon. Or give up on employees with great potential. Yan. Dahil lang naisip mo na pumalpak yung isang taong yon. Inalis mo na agad kasi uh, uminit, uminit yung ulo mo dun sa pinasa niya. Pero without knowing, nakita mo yung uh, na, namimiss mo yung great potential niya sa company niyo or sa member sa team niyo. So your team will have a greater faith in you as you avoid reckless decisions that take your company's goals off track. This is very important. It is okay na magalit ka. That that is an emotion, di ba? Pero it is always um right naman na dapat bago ka magbigay ng desisyon kailangan uh, kalmante ka muna pinag-isipan mo muna lahat-lahat kasi kapag wala kang pasensya okay konting gusot lang eh nagdi-decision ka na therefore oh, eh, hindi matatapos ng maganda or makakapagbigay ka ng mga erratic decision na hindi naman karapat dapat Yan. next is number seven is problem solver. So, paano naman tong problem solver? So, being able to solve problems quickly and creatively will set you apart as a great leader. Yan. If solving puzzles is not your strength, here are a few things to work on. As a leader, kailangan problem solver ka. Diba nga? You need to face the conflicts, the problems. So, dapat problem solver ka. So, paano naman daw kung hindi ka problem solver? So, ito. Para ma... Malaman paano maging problem solver ang, is- ang isang leader. Number one is you need to analyze. What is analyze? Avoid using emotional reactions to guide your decision. Sabi nga, kailangan mag-isip ka muna, baliwalain muna yung emotion. Look at problems from as many angles as possible. After you analyze it, collaborate. What is collaborate? Involve your team by communicating issues and asking for input. After mong na-alize, ito talaga yung problema. Without emotions, ito talaga yung nakita ng problema ng mismong team mo. Yan, sa ating team, ganyan. You need to, after that, you need to collaborate it with your teams, your members. Ganito kasi yung problema natin. Yan, sabihin mo sa kanila. After nun, balance risk. Every solution will have risk and benefits. Look for the best payoff with an acceptable level of risk. Then after mong napag-usapan yan within your team, you will come up into a solution. But always balance the risk. Yan, parang kasi in every solution, for sure, meron din yung magiging negative. So dapat i-winewait mo yun na ito yung magiging solution natin, tapos ito yung pwede natin maging possible risk. Yan. Each time something unexpected happens, it's valuable opportunity to learn how to better respond in the future. So, kailangan problem solver ka din. Next, number eight is motivated. Yan, very ano to, important talaga. Kailangan kasi na feel mo na motivated ang isang tao. As a leader, you need to be internally motivated to achieve your personal goals as as well as the goals laid out for your business. Sabi niya, having strong internal motivation will push you to work and move forward. This attitude will inspire your team as well. They'll be more likely to work harder along with you. Ayan, uh, para kasi yung motivation, ito yung drive eh, Or parang ito yung fuel within yourself. Do you believe in that? Diba? For example, Ah, uh, madami kang activities, dami kang gagawin. Gusto mo nang tapusin, okay? Meron kang time, madami kang time, meron kang resources, lahat ng gagamitin mo meron na. Ang kailangan mo na lang is ikaw, gagawin mo mismo. Pero ikaw mismo ayaw mong gawin kahit lahat naman ng kailangan mo nandiyan na. Bakit? The qu- ang problema kasi doon is uninspired ka, unmotivated ka. 'Di ba? Kahit na nandiyan na lahat sa iyo, lahat ng pangangailangan mo para magawa yung mismong goal mo or yung trabaho mo, kapag ito nawawala sa sarili mo sa motivation or yung motivated na 'yan, wala ding mangyayari. 'Di ba? Nandiyan na sa iyo lahat pero hindi mo magawa kasi unmotivated ka. Pa- 
Merong iba naman, kahit wala silang ganto, kulang yung ganda niya, pero dahil motivated sila, natatapos sila. Diba? Motivation isn't something you wake up with every day. And some days you might not feel motivated at all. Fortunately, self-motivation can be turned into habit instead of a mood. Yan. If you're not feeling motivated, motivated, get up, show up, and do the work anyway. Soon enough, you'll build the momentum you need and progress will happen faster than you can imagine. One factor kaya bakit bumabagal ang isang trabaho kasi hindi motivated yung mga tao. Diba? As a leader, kailangan kasi makita nila motivated ka para mahawa mo yung mga team members mo na, ay si ma'am nga, ganito, uh, kayang-kaya niya, motivated na motivated siya kahit na ganun yung problema niya. Diba? Yung iba kasi kahit nandiyan na ang lahat sa kanila, hindi nila nagagawa kasi nga, they are, they, uh, hindi sila motivated. Sabi nga nila, ang motivation, um, nade-develop naman yan. Okay? Just uh, isipin mo lang na yung ganto kailangan mo nang matapos, uh, kailangan kong gawin to, kailangan mo, kailangan mo kasing ma-feel inspired. Sometimes yung ginagawa ng tao para ma-motivate sila, nagre-reward sila sa sarili nila. ba diba? Sige, kakainin ko lang to. Yan. O, tapos after kung kanina to, ma-inspired na sila. Ganyan. Or sometimes they will watch. Kailang, sometimes kasi kapag nawawala ang motivation, ang nagiging solution dyan, nag-unwind muna sila. Nag-iisip-isip muna, nag-muni-muni muna, hanggang sa ma-realize nila, ah, okay, kailangan ko na pala talagang gawin to. Sometimes naman, ito kadalasan, anong nagiging motivation ng mga bata sa school is yung deadline. <laughs> diba? Deadline. O, yan, anong motivation mo para gawin ito? Para matapos ako dun sa deadline. Umabot ako sa deadline. Or, bakit nyo gagawin ito as a team? Para hindi kami bumagsak. That is their motivation. Okay lang yon, Mababang motivation yon. Pero at least, di ba, you are still motivated to finish something. Ganon din po sa mga teams or ma- sa mga grupo. Yan. Next. Another quality is determined. Yan. Ano nga ba ang determined? So, challenges are not going to stop appearing no matter how successful you become. So, employees can give up and look for another job when things get difficult, but leaders can't. So, as a leader, you keep working through the to- top spots and you still uh, you, you still your resolve and inspire your team to keep going when they get discouraged. Another word for this is great. Great means the combination of perseverance and passion behind every great achievement. Determine. Ang ibig sabihin ng determine, it means uh, determinado kang matapos ang sinimulan mo hanggang dulo. Sabi nga nila uh, na yung members mo, mat- mapapagod yan, pwede silang maghanap ng ibang trabaho, uh, maghanap ng ibang goal, or ma- mahanap ng, maghanap ng ibang pupuntahan. But ikaw, as a leader, since you are the one uh, fueling up this uh, goal or yung function nyo, what you need to do is to be determined from the very start at the very end of your goal. Ayan. Kailangan determinado ka lagi. Hindi yung konting problema lang is susuko ka na. Ang determine, ito yung kakayahan mo to be to have this perseverance, yung tiyaga, at saka yung passion mo in every great achievement. Next is being creative. Na-discuss na to kanina. So, ulitin lang natin. Creative thinking leads to innovative ideas that can change the world. It also required to solve problems and improve operations. In the daily grind of a running business, there are constant distractions and demand on your attention. Stress and deadlines, although sometimes unavoidable, destroy creative thinking. That's why it is essential for leaders to take time out for deep work. Yan. You can improve creativity in yourself and your organization by making time for it. Isa kasing quality talaga ng isang good leader, kailangan creative siya. Malikhain ng kanyang utak or lahat may maiisipan or magagawa niya ng paraan. Ngayon, yung pagiging creative kasi ng isang tao, hindi naman yan talent na lahat or laging nandyan para sa'yo. Pa- tao din tayo, napapagod lang. So, sometimes kapag burn out ka na or parang pagod na pagod ka na, stress out ka na, anong kadalas ang ginagawa ng mga leaders? So, sometimes they took a deep break. Yan. Nagbe-break muna sila, nag uh, ta time for unwind their subs para magkaroon ka ng another idea. Katalasan din sa tao ganyan, 'di ba? Kapag feeling mo unmotivated ka na, wala nang mapatutunguhan yung ginagawa mo or kailangan mong mag mag-isip ng mabuti para ma-inspire ka para lumabas yung creativity mo, sometimes you need to take a break. Yan. 
It's either kakain ka, is either aalis ka muna sa bahay, makikipagkwentuhan ka muna. And from that refreshment, diba, magbabago na naman yung utak mo, magiging creative ka, then you can now bring any new ideas that can contribute or that can help your work easier. So, that is being creative. Next is honest. Nasabi na rin yan kanina dun sa five, di ba? Studies have shown that dishonesty causes enough stress in the brain and body to negatively impact performance. So, even when things aren't going too well, it's necessary to be honest with your team. Yan, transparency. Kailangan transparent ka. It is an important aspect of building trust in those you want to lead. Be clear about your expectations so your team members know what to aim for. Hindi yung magbibigay ka ng pahapyaw na ganito tapos hindi alam ng team mo anong gagawin nila. It's difficult to be honest and direct when giving critical feedbacks. That's no reason to avoid asking for better work. Practice combining compassion with honesty to get better results. Sometimes naman kasi, being honest all the time or being transparent parent all the time, sometimes it might get hurt your other team members, lalo na kung prank ka sa kanila. Okay? So, para mas, mas ma-exercise natin ang tama itong honesty, kailangan you need to practice that honesty combined with your compassion. Ayan, yung parang, pag sinabi kasi natin compassion, ito yung parang tutulungan mo sila from that nakakaawang situation. Ayan, yung parang, uh, it is your ought to do na to help them, this kind of uh, pagiging honest mo. Yan. One more thing about honesty, remarkable leaders are brutally honest with themselves. That is true. Yan. It's the only way to grow and improve. Not surprisingly, honesty also plays an essential part in learning how to be a badass. Um, do you remember, Doc Jan? Uh, nakakuha siya ng, ng teacher, Teacher's Day. Nakakuha siya ng parang best in pagiging prank kayata or straightforward yan Mr. Straightforward si Doc Jen kasi straightforward talaga si Doc kapag sa mga sa school natin ganyan lalo sa all for Pampanga ganyan um Remarkable siya as a leader. Bakit? Kasi pagiging honest siya, straight to the point. Hindi kanya paligoy-ligoy anong kailangan natin, ito yung gagawin natin. Yan, straight to the point. Next, yan, decisive. What is decisive? Uh, being confident in your decision. That is just a simple meaning of decisive. It's one of the most critical leadership characteristics and a key habit of successful people in leadership position. Without it, you can expect buy-in from your team. Ang decisive, ibig sabihin, hindi naman ibig sabihin ng decisive is pala decision. Hindi. Ang ibig sabihin ng decision, ang decisive is confident ka kung ano man ang nagiging decision mo. Okay, confident ka na, oh, ito na yung decision mo, that is final, hindi na yun mababali. That is decisive. We've already covered being wrong. It's bound to happen. You can always be, sent, be certain of that outcome. But despite uncertainty, leaders make decision and move forward confidently. So even if you're questioning yourself, act with confidence. Yan. Again, pag sinabi nating decisive, hindi naman ibig sabihin nito, pala decision yung tao. Ang ibig sabihin lang ng decisive, as a leader, if you really take this decision, sigurado naman, bago ka mag-decision, di ba? Pinag-isipan nyo muna yan. Kailangan confident ka na final na yon ito na ang gagawin natin. Kasi kapag pabago-bago yung isip mo as a leader, maguguluhan sa'yo yung mga team members mo. Ay, ano pa talagang gagawin? Ang gulo naman, di ba? Hindi nila talaga alam i-follow nila. So, kailangan, anong sabi niya? Kailangan decisive ka. You are very confident of your decision. Next is trust for it. Yan. It's been proven what teams are most effective when there is trust. Yan. When people feel threatened, they are afraid to make mistakes, share opinions, and act on innovative ideas. The effects on performance are immediate and negative. Leaders who create a sense of safety and belonging using techniques like conversational intelligence are neutral when they approach criticism and conflict. Instead of using blame and humiliation, collaborate and problem solve, great leaders work with their team to find solutions when something goes wrong. Yan. Kailangan maging trustworthy or may tiwala sila sa'yo. Diba? De, Doc, uh, may, may tiwala po kami sa'yo, sir, ganyan. Or may tiwala ko sa'yo, sa ma'am, na matutulungan nyo kami as a team, as a member. Yan. Next is great communicator. Alam nyo na to. Isa pang, isa, kasama nga to sa five key elements, ba? Diba? Yung excellent communication. Ito na lang. So, to simplify these complex topics, focus on these principles of effective communications. What are the three principles of great communicator? 
consistency, listening, and safety. Consistency, kailangan uh, you need to be clear and consistent in communicating expectations and providing guidance. Yung parang clear and consistent ka. Kung ano yung sinabi mo nung una, ganun ka pa rin hanggang dulo. Listening, kailangan marunong kang makinig sa mga kasamahan mo. Give your team the attention they deserve to be at deserved by actively listening to them. And then, safety. When you must initiate a difficult conversation, use non-judgmental language. Don't attack. State your observation, needs, and requests. Ayan. Huwag ka masyadong uh, magiging below the belt, sabi nga nila, or hitting the below the belt. Ayan. Again, the three uh, principles of effective communication that meron ang isang leader, consistency, listening, and safety. Remember that you're not a boss. Ano pinagkaiba ng boss sa leader? Kapag boss, siya lang nasusunod. Kapag leader, kasama niya yung mga members niya sa nasusunod. Okay. Kapag boss, siya lahat. Yan, ganyan, ganyan. Kapag leader, kasamahan mo, they work as a team. Ganyan. And you are all in business together. Your ego has no place in your communication style. So, keep an empathetic tone. Empathetic tone. Yan, yung parang, pag sinabing empathetic tone, you have care. Yan, yung parang concern ka. Speak with everyone's best interest in mind. Be genuine and be open to your conversation. Okay, konti na lang. Okay, 15. Optimistic. O, pag sinabi natin optimistic, positive mind. Yan. Kailangan lagi kang positive mind. One of the qualities of good leader is pragmatism. But that can easily turn into pessimism. Pag sinabing pragmatism, ito yung pagiging open-minded mo positively. Ang pessimism naman, baligtad, ibig sabihin negativity. Instead, Focus on cultivating positivity to bring out the best in your team. Yan, kailangan positive kalabi. Keeping a positive outlook doesn't mean that you have to be happy and smiling all the time. Tama, hindi naman ibig sabihin na optimist ka eh. Kailangan everyday smiling ka. Sinasabi lang ng optimist is parang kahit na ganito ang mangyari, alam mo na sa susunod, you're, you're still hoping na mag, magiging maganda rin ang weather para sa inyo. Ganyan. Instead, a great leader acts from con from the core belief that the business benefits people and will lead to success for the team. Ayan. To develop optimism as a leadership characteristic, always look for possibilities. Ayan. Ito yung isipin mo lagi na, hindi, kahit naman ganito, malay mo, one day, ganyan, di ba? Malay nyo, after ganito, maabot din natin to, ganyan, ganyan. So, for example, when you're cert certain something that can't be done, ayan, you won't inspire anyone to try. When you shoot down ideas without actively looking for potential, you destroy creativity. Yung parang wag kang mawala ng pag-asa. There is still hope. There is still chance na maaabot mo yung ganong goal. Next is purposeful. What is purposeful? So, in here is where the inner vision of an exceptional leader takes center stage. So, the vision is a big difference between someone who is boss or manager and someone who is true leader. Yan. Remarkable leadership is by product of learning how to find your purpose in life. Yan. A leader acts with a purpose, a dream that that the world can be a better place. They seek to solve problem and help to people help people improve their lives. Kayo ba? Anong purpose nyo sa mundo? Yan. Di ba lahat naman tayo may purpose sa mundo? Ganon din sa mga leader. Uh, kailangan purposeful dela na magiging leader kung ganito, hindi lang kung di man namin makuha yung goal namin, at least yung purpose ko, sana kahit papano, matulungan ko yung mga members ko na mag-improve. Kailangan kasi madami kang inisip na ano yung purpose mo. So, purposeful leader isn't interested in business for the sake of business. No. They see profit as simply a side effect of creating a profound beneficial change in the lives of others. Katulad nga na sinabi ko kanina sa inyo, di ba? Na hindi man maging successful itong goal natin, pero at least natulungan ko kayong mag-improve. Ayan, natutunan nyo to, nagawa natin to. Those on the team of purposeful leader work each day with the dream of better world in their hearts. Ayan. Hindi yung puro pera lang iniisip nila. Okay? Kailangan kasi yung parang meaningful okay, ang pagtrabaho mo. That is purposeful. Kahit sa mga jowa mo, hindi man nga tayo nagkatulo yan, at least nakilala kita, napasaya kita. Ano siya? 17. Growth Mindset. Hmm, bagyada hapat kanyan. Growth mindset. Maintaining a growth mindset is one of the fundamental traits of a good leader. Ano yung growth mindset? Yung, ito yung parang learning, always learning. Instead of being stuck with existing set of skill, 
Great leaders believe growth is always possible. Parang lagi kang nauuhaw sa education or parang lagi kang nauuhaw sa mga bagong learnings. So, with this mindset, they have an intense to desire to learn. They embrace effort and pursue mastery. Modeling a growth mindset all also encourages your team to work through challenges, learn, and grow. Kailangan kayo din as an individual kahit hindi kayo leader, kailangan meron kayong growth mindset. Ito yung mindset na... Hindi, ah, kung kulang ako sa ganito, kung hindi ako magaling sa ganito, pwede naman siyang pag-aralan eh. Diba? Yung parang, ma-inspired ka na to do more better, to know more better. Ayan, pag-aaralan mo to, hindi dahil sa napipilitan ka, pero dahil sa alam mo na, one day, pwede mong gawin to, makakaya mo rin to. Always think na lagi kang productive. Ayan. You, li- you live each day na kailangan productive. Ayan. Darating din kayo sa point ng age na ayaw nyo nang tatamad-tamad kayo, ayaw nyo nang walang ginagawa. Pag productive kasi yung mind mo, okay, parang nagiging mas inspired ka na to, uh, to do more better. Yung kaya ko to, sayang naman yung oras ko. Ayan. Growth mindset ang meron doon. Ayan. Parang you're always hunger for learning. Na gusto mong matuto, uh, gusto mong malaman yung ganito-ganyan, gusto mong mag-excel, gusto mong ma-develop yung skills and abilities na meron ka, na nag exist na sa'yo. That is a growth mindset. Ayan. Next, agile. Ayan. Agile, or sinasabi nila ma- sometimes agility. Ganyan. In sports, someone who is agile can move quickly with precision and flexibility. Ayan. Maliksi, or parang uh, kahit Kahit saan mo siya dalhin, kaya niya. Yan. As a leadership characteristic, it is exactly the same. So, great leaders have their fingers to the pulse of their market and can direct team to change course as needed. So, this could mean changing product specification based on customer needs. It could mean moving timelines because of changing market. Yan. The environment of business is constantly changing. Being able to make these pivots in business can make or break a company. So, pagiging agile, pagiging flexible mo. Ayan, pag, uh, pagiging uh, willingness to adapt the change that you are in or situation na meron ka. Pagiging agile, kailangan uh, quick. Ayan, agad-agad makakapag-adjust ka. Next is emotionally intelligent or yung EQ. Ayan, the ruthless, domineering leader is becoming thing of the past. Leading with empathy gets much better results to do. This is emotional intelligence is it. is essential or EQ, emotional quality. Yan. It is hard to define but generally, it means ans- awareness. Yan. Awareness of your emotions in yourself and others. How good you are regulating and managing your emotions is measure of EQ. Yung EQ, parang paano mo lang nababalance yung emotions mo kapag dumarating yung mga gantong situations. If you have good leadership skills, you read emotional cues and respond to them appropriately. Alam mo yung kailan ka na mag-walk out? Alam mo kailan ka na mag-burst out? Yan. The, that said, EQ can only take you so far. You can understand emotion but still lack of compassion. True leaders show how much they care. Yan. That's how they win the love and devotion of their followers. Kailangan kasi meron ka emotionally intelligent ka. Alam mong laruin yung emotions mo. Hindi naman ako control. Pero alam mo lang, i, uh, parang, hindi naman yung control na lahat mat- mapipigilan mo. Ang sinasabi lang ng parang EQ, matalino ka when it comes to your emotion. Alam mo kailan siya sasabog, kailan siya magtitimpe, ganyan. Hanggang saan yung kaya mo. Yan, bago ka magbigay ng decision. Next is confident. Yan, na-discuss na, uh, na, na rin to. Diba? Great leaders execute confidence. They are self-assured and have a charisma that born from trusting themselves. Kailangan kasi may confidence or may tiwala ka sa sarili mo. The confidence of a great leader rejects them as calmness, sureness, and says that success is inevitable. Confidence makes a leader easier to trust and helps them strengthen the bonds of the team. Paano? Here's how to improve focus and find success. A confident mindset yan, comes easier to some than others. But it's an essential trait of a good leader. Confidence comes as you live according to your values. It helps you to practice courage and honesty. Pag sinabing confident ka, hindi naman ibig sabihin to hindi ka na kinakabahan, eh, wala ka ng pag Pag sinabi lang na confident ka, it means parang meron kang courage to continue. Uh, kaya mo to, ganyan, ah... Uh, Kaya mong i-face ang lahat that is being confident. Um, 
kahit na konte o sa, sa, sa loob looban mo kinakabahan ka but you know in yourself na kaya mo kasi pag nakita ng mga members mo na nag-aalinlangan ka or wala kang uh, tiwala din sa sarili mo hindi rin sila magtitiwala sa iyo so that is confident and the very last one remarkable trait of a being uh, leadership is accountable. Ito yung accountable or being responsible, taking care of actions. A great leader is willing to accept responsibility for their words and actions. Not every decision will be a smashing success. When you make a bad call, whether large or small, you have to be willing to admit your errors. Yan. Kailangan accountable ka. Yung, you need to accept those faults. Yung mga flaws mo. One of the characteristics of a good leader is also taking responsibility for the actions of your team. Or sometimes, kung kanwari nabigo yung team mo na gawin yung isang project or isang goal, ikaw as a leader, aakuin mo yun na kahit hindi naman ikaw yun nagkamali, kahit yung member mo lang. That is a good leader. It is not always your fault, but it's always the leader's responsibility to find a solution. If If blame needs to be discussed, do it privately with only the team members who need that discussion. Kapag kailangan talaga na ibigay yung sisi doon sa isa, kunwari bakit ka nag-failure dahil lang doon sa isang tao mo, hindi mo kailangan ipangalandakan sa buong team mo na siya kasi may kasalanan ganto-ganyan. Pwede mong kausapin itong ka-team mo in a separate manner and then discuss mo lang siya thoroughly na sa susunod kasi ganito gawin mo para manal tayo. Siyempre, isa kakausapin mo siya, hindi lang dahil, hindi dahil sa... Gusto mo siyang uh, pagalitan, ganyan. Pero dahil lang, gusto mo rin siyang mag-improve. Also, para din, hindi maging masama yung tingin ng mga members niya. So, that's being accountable. So, those are the 21 uh, qualities of remarkable leadership. So, you have your quiz niyan later on at 4pm to 4.30. Um, ang kanyang time limits is only 15 minutes. Okay? Uh, yun lang. If you have any questions, you can chat me on the messenger and we can discuss it further. So, that's it. Thank you.